Renewable energy stocks are hot this year, and one part of the market could be about to jump higher. In this video, I'll show you why uranium mining stocks need to be in your clean energy portfolio. We'll look at the fundamentals of supply and demand, then I'm going to reveal the top five energy stocks to be watching right now. We're talking renewable energy today on Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. I want to send a special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, a few years ago, the buzzword used to be energy independence, and we all knew that meant drill baby drill. But now that drive to independent energy production means something completely different being able to create it through renewable energy. And despite the endless movies of the 70s warning us of a meltdown and deformed children, half of which starred Jane Fonda, renewable energy and that independence includes nuclear power. Nuclear capacity at America's 58 power plants is just 9% of the total US energy capability, but accounts for 20% of the actual power generation because these reactors are used more intensely. Nuclear is one of the most efficient forms of renewable energy, and it's about to become an even larger part of that dream to energy independence. The proposed $2 trillion green infrastructure plan could mean a surge in construction, and the Biden plan specifically calls on nuclear energy to reach that carbon-free target for renewables. But there's just one problem. The US imports 95% of the uranium used in these reactors, the critical fuel in that nuclear fission process. Now, a full 80% of the world's uranium mining is done by state-owned company, much of it in Kazakhstan, Russia, and Africa. And nation global production shutdowns last year laid bare the weakness in the system. As foreign operations shut down, governments prioritized their own demand for uranium, and the U.S. came dangerously close to a supply shortage. Now, globally, there are 52 reactors under construction, most of them in Asia. And that's not only going to drive the demand picture for uranium for years, but could create a huge supply shortage as countries fight for these resources. So in this video, I want to highlight five of the top renewable energy stocks in this theme, those uranium producers that could be one of the strongest themes over the next several years. We'll cover what to look for in these companies and then highlight the five uranium mining stocks to buy right now. Currently, the United States accounts for just 3% of global uranium production, though Canada is a large producer at 22%, so I'm going to be focusing on companies with assets here in North America. Now, uranium spot prices have been volatile from year to year, but are still less than half their 2011 peak and a fifth the 2007 highs. The federal government devoted $75 million last year to creating the first ever national strategic reserve of uranium. Now, that combined with the growing demand should help drive these prices over the next few years. And for our five stocks to watch in uranium producers, I want to start with something different here. Uranium Royalty Corporation, ticker URCCF in the United States, and then URC in the Canadian market. URC is the first company to apply the royalty model to uranium assets. So it has a partnership interest in uranium projects, receives those cash flows, and then passes that through to investors through a dividend distribution. The company has a diversified portfolio across North America in every stage of development, from permitted projects, production, and exploration. Its partners include some of the largest uranium miners in the market, like Cameco, Rio Tinto, and UEC. And here you see how this is set up. For example, the company has a 9% interest and 1% gross overriding royalty in the MacArthur River project run by Cameco in Canada. The project is licensed to produce 25 million pounds a year with proven and probable reserves of almost 392 million pounds. The company has an extremely strong balance sheet with over $38 million in cash and securities for acquiring more assets. Now, while I'll highlight other operating companies in our four stocks, I like this one as an overall play on the theme for a couple of reasons. First, you're going to get a higher cash yield because of that royalty structure. Also though, the company is like a fund of projects and benefits from those investor interests in assets without the operational mining costs. So URC has fixed operating costs, no development or capital costs, just a steady cash flow from those diversified portfolio of assets. Now I want to highlight a few of the individual mining stocks in the theme, many of which have a partnership agreement with URC, but I'm going to leave a link to the company's investor presentation in the video description below, so check that out. Our first miner is by far the largest, $6.3 billion commitment. Cameco Corporation, ticker CCJ. Now, like most of the miners, Cameco has had to shut down production at some of its locations due to COVID, but was still able to produce 30 million pounds of uranium last year at an average realized price of $46 per pound. 
The company operates assets mostly in North America, though it does have fields in Europe, Kazakhstan, and Australia. It operates the world's largest uranium mine at MacArthur River in Canada, and all told, has over 460 million in provable and probable reserves. Now, outside of mining, Cameco also operates its fuel services and marketing divisions, so this is a vertically integrated company that can take advantage of that trend to nuclear renewable energy. With Cameco's size and integration across the supply chain, it's able to get those economies of scale and efficiencies that a lot of these miners just can't touch. For example, it's able to produce uranium at an average of 15 Canadian dollars per pound. That's well under the industry average and nearly half the current spot price. Next here is Energy Fuels, ticker UUUU. It's gonna be a much smaller miner, and in fact, the rest of these mining stocks are all under a billion dollars market cap. Energy Fuels is more diversified across those critical elements. It's the largest U.S. producer of uranium and vanadium, along with business and other rare earth elements and recycling. It operates three production facilities in Utah, Wyoming, and Texas, and the recent move into those rare earth elements used in electric vehicle battery production could be a game changer. The company's White Mesa Mill in Utah is the only facility in the United States licensed and capable of processing monzonite for recovery of those rare earth elements and uranium. The recent supply agreement with Keymore set it up to begin processing with less than a million in capital upgrades. Now, besides that diversification across mining, Energy Fuels has also one of the cleanest balance sheets in the industry. The company has over $28 million in balance sheet cash against no long-term debt. Uranium Energy, ticker UEC, is another small penny stock in the theme and a pre-production miner with potential for up to 4 million pounds a year. It has three projects in the United States, an interest in the Athabasca Basin in Canada, and a portfolio of projects in Paraguay. The company's Hobson processing plant in Texas is critical to its mines in South Texas and really gives it that processing advantage over the other miners. Now there's still more development that needs to be done on these fields to get those assets into production, but it's sitting on over 58 million pounds of measured and indicated resources. With balance sheet cash of 16.7 million against just 18 million in long-term debt, it's almost cash neutral, so a solid financial position to take those assets into production. The smallest mining stock here on the list, UR Energy, ticker URG, has a $230 million market cap. The company produces out of its Lost Creek, Wyoming project with total production of 2.6 million pounds so far. Now the site is expected to produce up to an additional 13.8 million pounds through 2031. URG also owns the Shirley Basin Project, an older field producing 71 million pounds over the three decades through the 90s and estimated to hold about another 6.3 million pounds left to produce. Now the balance sheet is a little shakier here with just $6.6 .6 million in cash against $13.2 million in debt. It's the riskier of the five uranium stocks that we'll talk about, but still possibly one to watch. Click on the video to the right for the top five penny stocks I'm watching in 2021 for triple digit returns. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.